Hello, I am Deepthi and I welcome you to the 7th episode of Talk Physics. Have you ever wondered why only certain materials are used for specific applications? Like for example, you see copper strands being used in a wire. Why do you use copper there and not some other material like say wood? When? The answer lies in the fact that properties of materials are determining their applications or in other words applications depend on the properties of materials. One of the most prominent properties of materials is the electrical conductivity. Materials can be classified on the basis of electrical conductivity into three types metals, semiconductors and insulators. Out of these three types, metals have the highest electrical conductivity. And as you know, copper is a metal. Let us try to understand why copper is a good conductor of electricity. The atomic number of copper is 29. That means it has 29 protons in its nucleus and it's, if it's a neutral atom, its nucleus is going to be surrounded by 29 electrons. Out of these, two electrons are in the first orbit, eight electrons in the second orbit, 18 electrons in the third orbit and one electron in the last or the outer orbit. Now, when it comes to electrical conductivity, the outer orbits are the most important ones. They are also called valence orbits and the electrons in these orbits are called valence electrons while the electrons in the inner orbits are called core electrons. Let me give you an analogy of your class. Imagine that your lecture is progressing and students are sitting in the class. Usually, who are going to be the core electrons? Yes, the students sitting on the first bench. They are so attentive to whatever is happening in the class. Now, who are going to be the valence electrons? Usually, the students sitting on the last benches or those who are sitting near the window and so on and so forth because they are not very attentive towards the class. They are more interested in what is happening outside. Similarly, in case of a copper atom, the negatively charged electrons which are in inner orbits are strongly attracted towards the nucleus which is positively charged while the negatively charged electrons in the valence orbits are very weakly attracted towards the nucleus. So who do you think is going to be easy to escape? Of course, valence electrons. So it is very easy to dislodge these valence electrons. In fact, they are also called free electrons. It is due to these electrons that copper is a very good conductor of electricity because these electrons can participate in the electrical conduction.